Hi and welcome. In my series, How to Write a Song, we're on episode two. And today I'm going to try to write the melody and the harmonies. So let's do that. <laughs> For this song, you suggested what I should write about, in this case a mini disc. So I'm just trying and fooling around with my instruments, mainly piano and guitar, to find where I can place the word mini disc. Mini disc, mini disc. What I came up with so far, I've just played around with some chords in G major and I want something, 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 something. Mini disc, something like that. And I don't have the rest, so I will try to figure that out. La do 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 maybe ba da 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 mini disc. Yeah, something like that. Maybe that could be a chorus, couldn't it? I'm interrupting here, but I just want to tell you that I have made a songwriting guide. You can find it on my webpage. It's a 15 pages PDF with useful information if you want to write a song. You can buy it for $1,000 or you can have it for free if you sign up with your email address. Please buy it. Da, 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 and if I play it in tempo disc Yeah, I think I have the start of a chorus. This is not ready yet. I have to make this more interesting, but it, it's a start. It's a start. I will grab my guitar. What chords to use in every key, what fits every key, that's a subject for another video or maybe several other videos. It has to do with music theory. And most musicians know this by either have, they have studied theory or by experience. Wait, just a second. Like that maybe. Someone said that you don't have to know music theory to write songs. And no, you don't. But it will get easier. It will. Yeah, but this artist or this composer doesn't know music theory. They know it by experience. Maybe they don't know the words to describe it as a music theorician. Theorician? But they know it by experience anyway. And you have never heard, I promise you, someone that knows a lot about music th theory that thinks it's bad to know. We are in G. What if I use the same chords in the verse, but have the verse lower, the melody lower in the verse? Let me try it. Maybe start. Maybe start like that. La, da, da, da. Ba, da, da, da. Wa, da, ba, ba. Mm. Maybe. Ba, da, 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 da. That's much more interesting. I have a C major chord, but the melody is on a D. Maybe I can make the melody more rhythmic, so it's more interesting. Maybe... That's better, that's better. We try that. Something 
something like that. I will try that on the piano. Yeah, but Roger, you can play the piano and you can play the guitar. It's easy for you to write songs when you can play the instruments, you can play the, the chords. Well, you can do it as well. I mean, just write the chords in your door and then arrange the chords in the order you think fits and what suits the melody you find in your head. So you can do it even if you don't play the instruments. Ba, ba, ba. Maybe so. So if I play the verse and then the chorus and see if the chorus lifts from the verse, that's the whole point with the chorus. I think that works as a start. I'm gonna work with this more in a little bit. Don't worry about sound or genre at this time, but this process is also easy to get stuck in and it needs a lot of patience. And what I like to do is to sit a while and fool around and try to find something and then do something else, like, like running. Oh, do something else, but keep that melody and chord structure in your head because things will pop up if you allow them to. And sometimes it's good to do something different than just playing the same chords over and over again. Oh, I really should run more often. <laughs> really. One thing I figured out when I was out running is that I don't want the same chords in the verse as I do in the chorus. But I think the chorus could be good, so I won't change that. I will change the verse. So the verse goes like this. Oh, that was interesting. Maybe I should try that. Da, 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 da. Ba, ba, ba. Ba. That's interesting. I, I, I played it wrong, but that also made it interesting to my ears. And then I can maybe go wa da 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 la da 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 da, and then back to the C with the melody on the D. D. Da 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 da. Yeah, that's good. The verse. Ba da 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 wa di di do 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 do. I like it, except the last thing there. If you remember from the chorus, we have la 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 mini dis. I can use that mini dis. Ba ba ba. I can use the same thing in the verse but an octave lower ba, da, da, on the last chord of the verse. So the verse goes That makes it even more interesting. So now I have a verse and I have a chorus and I will double the verse and I will double the chorus. Do I need something else at the end of the chorus? I think so. La la da 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 da, ba da da, da da da. Do 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 do. That's better. Maybe ba da da da. Then I use the same chord structure as the verse again, but this time in the chorus. Ba da da da, la da da da. I think we have a song. If you read sheet music, this is how the song looks like now. i
The only thing that troubles me now, before I go further, is that I don't think it's interesting enough rhythmically, especially in the verse. I like the straight rhythm in the chorus because that could be really powerful as a chorus, but I think I like it more interesting in the verse. If you've come this far, you can do me a favor and subscribe. Maybe hit that bell. Maybe give this video a like. And thank you for watching. To run in Swedish is at springa. Springa. Until next time, roger that.